Hello and welcome to CoinLex educational video series. Today we will talk about crossovers and I will show you how to use crossovers with CoinLex. Let's start with the dashboard. Right in this position we have our favorite market list. The favorite coins will be listed here. We have our indicators, the signals, volumes, market closings, all time low and all time high. Left of the dashboard, we have more than 7 different categories. Today's topic is EMA, Exponential Moving Average. And EMAs are listed here, EMA 520, 734, 1321, 250. As an example, let's move with the Bitcoin graph. We are now looking at Bitcoin graph for one day chart. I set my EMA5 to green line and EMA20 to red line. We have to look for crossovers to crossings. Crossovers are the positions where these two lines has crossed. Let's find together. The first crossover is here, the second one is here, and the third one is here. I am starting with the first one. And the first one, the green line is over the red line, which means the EMA5 is now over EMA20. So we can expect a rising. You can buy right in this position or understand that the coin have a potential to rise. But right in this position, the red line EMA20 is now over EMA5. Good green line. So we can expect a falling. You can sell your coins or go short when you see the red line is over green line. Make sure that you are using EMA5 as a green line and EMA20 as a red line. Now at the last one we have two different crossings which close to each other. So Right in this position, we can understand that the green line is over red line, so you can buy. But right after three days, the MA20 is now over MA5, so we can expect a falling. This is how we use the MA520 with Bitcoin graph. And now I come back to the dashboard. At the dashboard, we saw that the MA520 is red, so that means that. The red line is over green line. We have 734. Let's check for it. I set EMA7 to green line and EMA34 to red line. Let's look for crossings one more time. The first one is here and the second one is here. As you can see, we don't have any crossing here because we have set our EMAs to 7 and 34. Let's start with the first one. The green line EMA7 is over 34, the red line, so we can expect a rising. But right in this position, the red line is now over the green line, so we can expect a falling. As you can see, there is a falling. I come back to that word and I confirm that. The coin legs gave a true signal for EMA520 and EMA734. Let's look for the recent signals. I go for the market list. In the market list, we have more than 600 coins. You don't have to look one by one to catch a signal because coin legs gives you a signal that, for example, right in this position, it gave a signal. The recent signals are different than the others. Right in this position, we can see that the central land has given a signal for EMA 520. I come back to trading view. Let's check if the signal is true or not. We are looking for the central land for one day chart, and I set my EMA 5 to green line and EMA 20 to red line. I am zooming in too. We are now looking for the last graph of a decent land, the last 4 days, and the coin legs 
has gave a signal that there is a there's a crossover, which the green line is over red line. So, as you can remember, that means you can buy. You can buy. I come back to dashboard. If you want to add the central land to your favorite coins, you can add this little button. You can hold on for a second. Now, as you can see, the, the central land is now listed in favorite markets. I come back to dashboard just by pressing on coin legs. Now we are in the dashboard and we can see that the central land has been listed to our favorite markets. As you can see, the recent signal is different than the others. And you can create a custom signal just by using this position. And you can just press the link below to learn how to create a custom signal. Here's a little information about EMAs. EMA 520 triggers before EMA 734 and 1321 and 2015. Plus that, make sure that you are using other indicators as well as the EMAs before investing. Thank you for watching us.